Hi, my name is Lee, and I want to be showing you a couple of things about training principles and methods today. With my willing participant, Jonathan. We're starting off with a couple of endurance and exercises. The first one I'm chosen on the sheet is the stationary bar. Now, on the stationary bar, you can start off with something like a warm up. For a duration of about 3 to 5 minutes, what you're basically doing is getting your heart rate up and your blood flow and getting ready for the exercise. Now we've chosen a method of interval training. Interval training can range uh, from anything for, from 30 seconds uh, high intensity to 30 seconds low intensity at a very moderate level. To increase the technique intensity of this, you can either shorten your, your rest period or you can increase your level of intensity. When riding a stationary bike, you should make sure that your back is always, always remain straight to keep posture of your arm. Durations of these exercises should range from between 30 and 40 minutes for effective results. These effective results include um, increasing your VO max, including, um, including your power and speed. Now, when finishing something like this, you should do a cool down. The cool down would be to bring your heart rate back down to normal and your blood pressure back down to normal. This can not only be accomplished on the bike, it can also be accomplished in a slow walk on a treadmill or perhaps stretches. Let's move into our last endurance exercise with no apparatus. It's called the burpee. Now you can see at low intensity you can move into, into low repetitions with long rest intervals. Moving into high intensity, you increase the intensity of the exercise by adding a jump and a push up. This exercise helps with increasing your VO2 max, it helps with strength and speed. Making sure that you keep the correct form. Moving on to our first strength exercise with the machine. This is called the seated row machine. To start off, you have your hands on your bar, your shoulders, your elbows are flexed, and your shoulders contracted. When you move, you adduct the shoulders, your elbows flex, and your scapula contract. Make sure that you pull all the back muscles firm, nice and tight. One of the stabilizers in this is your abs, nice and firm, lower back, nice and straight, and you should watch out for having your back nice and straight, and your abs nice and tight, chin in, so your chin nice and in, chest out, and stabilize your chest onto the center of the middle, maintaining a nice stroke, and of course, if you need to intensify the exercise, increasing your rep range and increasing the weight. Hi, moving on to our next strength exercise is the leg extension machine. Now starting off with the legs, with the knees being flexed and going into extension. The muscles being utilized in this exercise are the quadriceps. Now, your hip is used as a stabilizer along with your abdominal muscles and your hands holding onto the side of the machine. The things that you should look out for when doing this exercise is to make sure that you don't have momentum in your legs. Making sure that you're engaging the muscles when doing your leg extension with a nice slow, ease out movement coming back down to the starting position. Also, making sure that your butt is nice and tucked into the back of the seat and make sure that, that the posture of your back is nice and straight along with your abs. Alright, moving on to our next strength exercise with free weights is called the, the barbell squat. Now, in your starting position, your hips and knees are straight. Making sure that the bar is not resting on your neck but on your shoulders, maintaining the right posture in your back, keeping the back straight and in line. Now, maintain a good, good center of gravity with this exercise, keeping your, shoulder, keeping your feet approximately shoulder width apart. As you move down into this exercise, ensure that your knees don't pass your toes in front, having all the weight put onto your heels, stick your bum out and keep your back straight at all times. Now the stabilizers in this, in this activity would be the hip muscles, your back, and your, your transverse abdominal muscles. Make sure you keep a nice steady movement. For the last strength exercise, without a machine, this is the seated shoulder press. Okay, now starting off with the elbows flexed and the shoulders Flexion, you move up, your scapula rotates, 
with your elbows extension. Now, one couple of things to, to look out for in this exercise is maintaining straight posture, your lower back nice and firm, abs tight, chest out, focus on one point and engage the muscles moving all the way through the exercise. If you like, you can also use another kind of chair which has back support with um, two feet support where you can push your lower back into the back of the chair ensuring good posture. But this is very good for your trunk and your core exercises. Okay, we're moving into our next section of exercises with flexibility and stretching. The definition is the joint's ability to move through a full range of motion full range of motion. Lack of flexibility can limit muscular function and result in postural compensation. Increase injury risk and limit breathing patterns. The duration of a stretch should last between about 15 and 30 seconds. We're going to start off by showing you the tricep stretch. You see, hold it up. You put your hand over, over your arm, pulling your elbow down, stretching the tricep muscle, making sure that your hand sits in between the scapula. When doing this exercise, make sure you, you maintain correct posture with your back and your, and your buttocks in line with your shoulders. As you move across, we move into a trapezium stretch as your chin dips down first into, into your chest and then releasing the range of motion into the upper trapezium stretch. The muscles being utilized here are, of course, the upper trapezium and stabilized with your back being in a straight line with your with your buttocks and your abdominal muscles nice and tight. As we, as we, as we demonstrate the next stretch, John is going to do a gluteus maximus stretch. You pull your, your, one arm, your one leg over the next leg, and using your arms to pull your leg towards yourself, the muscle on the gluteus maximus here is all stretched, stretched out. Your stabilizer should just be your back firmly placed onto the mat with a nice relaxed feeling. When stretching, when stretching, make sure you go through a full motion of your stretch, maintaining, maintaining the correct form but without applying too much pressure. Okay. The exercise I've chosen for your power is the pilometric jump or better known as the box jump. Okay, go. Okay, the secret of this exercise I think is the landing and on the box and off. You need to engage the muscles using your whole body with momentum to get up the box. Notice how the arms move with the legs, engaging all that power in your legs to get up and down the box. This is good for VO2 max, agility, a little bit of speed, but mostly power. Okay. Okay, the exercise I've chosen for speed is skipping, good old skipping. Right, speed helps with, skipping helps with a lot of speed, agility, uh, and good reflexes. Mostly used by boxers to um, for fitness and to increase their reflexes and speed. It's one of the best exercises for this purpose. Good for increasing your VO2 max. Um, not much can go wrong in this exercise. You need to make sure that you maintain a good rhythm, good posture, and that's it. Thank you.